What's up everybody? This is Jason from Jason's Exotic Reptiles. Today I'm going to do a quick video for you guys on basic boa constrictor care requirements. I'm in Canada for work, so I'm in my hotel room. Thought I'd kill some time to do a video for you guys. So uh, basic reptile care in general is there's three fundamentals that you need to always focus on and that is heat, humidity, and feeding. Uh, as long as you cover those three basics, you're heating them properly, you give them proper, proper humidity, and you're feeding them the right food and the right amount, your reptiles are going to thrive. It really, uh, it's as simple as that for all reptiles. But let's focus this on boa constrictors because I got a pointed question just asking how do I care for basic requirements of a boa constrictor. So you're going to shoot for uh, an ambient temperature of about 78 if it goes to 75, that's fine. If it's 80, that's fine. This isn't a science. This is just shoot for 78 as your target. Your basking temperature. Basking temperature is going to be, let's say, 88 to 95 is what you really want for a basking temperature. If it goes a little bit higher, I go up to about 100, um, down to about 86. But we're just talking, let's say we're talking a pet snake and we're maintaining all year round these temperatures. My ambient temperature, 78. My basking is going to be between 88 to 95. Uh, breeding and changing temperatures for breeding, that's going to be a completely different story. But uh, this is basic year-round bow constrictor care. Your humidity, you want to shoot for about 50 to 75%. Um, if this drops a little bit low, it's not the end of the world. If it goes a little bit high, it's not the end of the world. If I were to shoot for something, if I were to be high or low, I'd personally prefer to be on the lower side. A humid, damp environment for a long period of time can, can harbor all kinds of, uh, of different types of bacteria and it can cause your uh, reptile or your snake to have long-term illnesses. So uh, you really want to be careful. There is a difference between humid and wet. So if you're using an aquarium type tank, seal the top of that thing off. If you go to a Home Depot or Lowe's, you can get what they call like a window insulation kit. It's basically saran wrap with a, with a glue strip. Use a heat gun to seal it down. And that works really well. Get a piece of plexiglass, get a piece of plywood, anything, and duct tape. If you do use duct tape, make sure you put it on the inside of the screen and not the outside or your snakes can get stuck to that. So um, anything like that, just to seal that screen top, holding that heat and humidity is gonna work perfectly. So. Monitor your temperatures, monitor your humidity. If you do start covering the screen and you haven't done it in the past, um, your heat and humidity are gonna spike way up. So be careful you don't cook the snake either. But heat and humidity are gonna be main points. Uh, I like to use cypress mulch as my substrate. You spray that down, it'll last, it'll stay humid for a pretty good amount of time. Spray it down every other day, every day, every week, depending on your, on your exact setup. Um, ventilation is key. But at the same time, you don't want to overventilate. So you do want to have this air circulation. Um, let's say you had this completely sealed enclosure. Just lifting that lid or opening the doors, that's enough ventilation for a whole day. So just to give you a reference on how much ventilation you need. You don't need this giant screen top. You don't need this chicken wire cage. It's, um, it's all about just giving the proper ventilation and airflow for the enclosure that you have. Um, and then feeding, you know, I, I've done a couple feeding videos. As long as you feed the appropriate size males, don't go feeding them store-bought chicken breasts, chicken wings, things like that. I see all kinds of shit like that. People are feeding their snakes, and it's it's like, why would you go to the store and feed them a, a drumstick? It's, um, I guess they'll eat it, but, but uh, I mean, they, these things, I don't know. What the hell would you do that for? So um, that's all I can say on that. Feed it rodents. They're, they're all over the place. You get them frozen thawed, rodent pro, squeals on wheels is who I use local guy, uh, perfect prey out of Florida. There's all kinds of frozen rodent suppliers. Uh, they're all pretty damn good. You see these stories on Facebook, on Instagram, and, and all kinds of other shit like that. And they're gonna be telling you, you know, this place killed my snake. Who knows what killed your snake? And they didn't get an necropsy done. Um, they don't know what actually killed their snake. So you can't just go immediately blaming the rodent. That's the easy way out. Um, so I wouldn't get too concerned with that. But otherwise, I think this was kind of basic care in a nutshell. To sum it up in, in 20, 30 seconds, ambient temperature, 78 degrees, basking spot between 88 to 95, humidity, 50 to 75%, and feeding, feeding them rodents. Uh, if they get really big, give them some guinea pigs or some, uh, some, some rabbits, but they can get hooks on rabbits, so be careful with that. 
Rabbits are expensive. They're not readily available, at least for me. Um, so if you do feed them rabbits, be careful because they will get hooked on those things. As chickens too. Don't feed them chickens. They'll get hooked on that shit real quick. So, uh, all right. Well, I hope this this video is helpful to you guys. I apologize. I have no snakes around me. I have nothing uh, to show you guys other than me. <laughs> so uh, we're going to go from there. We're going to end it at this. Give me some more topics to talk about. I think I'm going to do a... Uh, uh, tank versus, versus rack system type of thing, vision cage. We'll compare the pros and cons of each, and we'll go from there. Thanks, guys. I appreciate the follows. I see those things are going way up. So keep subscribing, keep following, keep commenting. It uh, means a lot to me. It helps me keep going. So thank you, everybody, for the support. We'll keep these things coming. Thanks.